celebrate black excellence year round, but especially during Black History Month, right? And today we're talking about the first black Greek sorority because it is just a prime example of it. Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated has been around for 115 years. And in March, the Kappa Omega chapter is celebrating 100 years of service to Atlanta's communities. Absolutely incredible. They have done so much work in the state of Georgia, the South Atlantic region. We are so happy to have them in studio with us today here to talk about the sorority celebrating the milestone are Lakeisha D. Jackson and Marjorie Taylor Young. Uh, Marjorie Young, oh my gosh. Taylor, I just say <laughs> Thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having us. <laughs> so talk about you guys' involvement. We have many wonderful events for the Centennial Celebration. We're starting out with a pilgrimage to historic Oakland Cemetery, where our founder and charming president is laid to rest there. So we will have an event this Wednesday that is for members only. Okay. And then we will have a wonderful gala and celebrating Atlanta's best will be in, in the place. And it is a sold out event. So that will be held at the Georgia Aquarium. So we have many other things that will be done throughout the year as well. That is incredible. Can you guys talk about some of the things that AKA does in the community? Well, we do a number of things, and, and throughout our history, we've been concerned about education. Uh, it's always been a priority. Uh, social justice mm -hmm. has always been a pro priority. Um, we are, are, we reach people by working with students in their schools, bringing them to our facility, our community center. Um, we've tutored them, uh, voter registration, uh, uh, mobility uh, is something that we do. And health awareness is a very important in our community. And we've spent many years not only looking at accessibility to affordable health care, but mm -hmm. teaching people and educating our community on wellness mm -hmm. and prevention of illnesses, especially the ones that impact us the most. Okay. And if you could talk to someone, maybe they have a daughter or maybe themselves uh, want to join a sorority, why should they? Why, why is that so important for people to get involved in? Service to all mankind. Um, Alpha Kappa Alpha is rooted in our mission and vision in reaching the community. Kappa Omega has reached the Atlanta community beyond for 100 years mm -hmm. plus now. Mm -hmm. So Alpha Kappa Alpha is the first and the finest, and we continue to meet our mission. Okay. And, as, as well as we've always wanted to encourage uh, young women to pursue education and, we, and set high eth, um, educational and ethical standards. Um, and also to build a support people among women. So it's important for women to have a support system to keep building each other up. And uh, the sorority does that uh, as well as give back to the community. Okay. Now, you mentioned some of your events that are coming up. Anything in the future that people can look forward to? Probably <laughs> a lot of what we've done in the past. We'll be celebrating our 100th uh, anniversary uh, centennial uh, throughout the year okay. uh, uh, because uh, we were chartered in March. Uh, that month is being highlighted, but we'll be doing this throughout the year. But we'll be implementing uh, national programs uh, across Georgia, and Cap Omega will be working with you, working with the elderly, um, supporting, um, preserving the environment, um, and um, social justice issues, especially uh, voter rights and voter accessibility and those kinds of things, and um, encouraging support of people who are going to make us come together as yes. a community yeah. and reduce some of what's going on now with the negativity right. toward yeah. each other. Okay. And so we're going to be working hard to get those kinds of people uh, to run for office. That is beautiful. You guys do such incredible work in our community. Thank you so much. And thank you for being here. We will have all of this information in this interview, if you missed any of it, on Atlanta News First app.